everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey honey bunny how you doing my name is adriana and if you're a returning subscriber how you doing honey bunny um today we're going to go through my summer shower routine on how i get glowy supple soft skin honey bunny we going through all the basics from head to toe head to toenail honey bunny everything so what you see me doing right now is i am tying my hair up um that's always number one because y'all know i have natural hair if you don't know now you know boo boo i have natural hair so i have to tie my hair up make sure my hair doesn't get wet and i got a fresh perm rod set boo boo and we don't want that to get wet um so first things first i'm going through and i am washing my face with my pca facial wash i know sometimes in the summer i jump back and forth because the benzoyl peroxide one can be so strong um i like this one too it get the job done boo boo do what she need to do she clean my skin she get me all squeaky deaky clean and it's great very hydrating for the summertime um and it's just a good overall cleanser especially if you have sensitive skin it doesn't have too many actives in it compared to the benzoyl peroxide one the benzoyl peroxide one is literally like super duper strong i tend to use that one around like my time of the month or like if i'm having like an active breakout but at the very moment i don't think i had any active breakouts um so yeah i'm gonna use that on my skin okay now we rinse that all all um and make sure we get all of that around your hairline boo boo make sure you wash in your hairline please please making sure you wash in your hairline honey bunny then i'm going to grab my toothbrush and i know i don't know about none of y'all but y'all need to be changing out your toothbrushes okay your, your teeth gotta be nice pearly white for the summertime honey bunny we outside we talking in motherfuckers faces like your, your, your mouth gotta be right so i use a oral b toothbrush and what I like about this toothbrush is you can actually take the head of the toothbrush off and replace it. So I know usually I replace my toothbrush about three or four times a year, but I always make sure I switch it out before the summer. So I'll switch it out for like the summer, the spring, and winter. And I'll make sure I switch it out. Every four seasons, sometimes I'll switch it out. But you have to make sure you're changing your toothbrush, honey bunny. Your, your toothbrush. You have to make sure you're changing it to make sure you're getting your tongue. And scrub that tongue, honey bunny. Now I'm going to go and use my favorite toothpaste, which is the Colgate Optic White. I just feel like this is a breath of fresh air. When I blow out of my mouth after I brush my teeth, I need it to be ice cold. Okay? Okay. And I'm also going to go through and I'm going to use my favorite floss. Yes, I have a favorite floss. I am not a fan of the strings. I prefer like the little floss picks. So I'm going to use those and I'm also going to use this Thorough Breath um, mouthwash. I really like this mouthwash because it doesn't have any alcohol in it. So it doesn't make my mouth like dry or make my mouth burn or anything. And yeah, I swish that around for a minute and then we spit it out, boo boo. And then next, I'm going to go in with my Eye Smile Teeth Brightening System. This video is not sponsored, but I have used this a few times. I kind of had like a love and hate relationship with it. I'm not really going to lie because the first time I was using it, I think I was putting too much gel around the mouth part. 
And since I was using too much gel around the mouth part, I kind of felt like I was burning my gums almost. Like, oh, I don't understand it. I don't know. But I felt like I was burning my gums. So I stopped using it. But again, every time the seasons change, boo-boo, I got to make sure my hygiene is up to par. So especially summertime, I'm going to go ahead and lay that gel right nice right there. And I'm going to pop Honey Bunny into my mouth. And teeth going to be pearly white all summer, boo-boo. Okay, honey buddy. So we are now in my shower. I got my shower cap on, looking like somebody grandmammy. And getting the shower curtain right. I don't know about nobody else, but I hate for the shower curtain to touch me while I'm in the shower. Oh my God, it just made me feel so disgusting. It just made me feel like I have to wash my entire body all over again. But that's neither here nor there. So we are in my shower. I'm rinsing off. Please excuse my face. Like... I can't help it that's just my face at this point so next I am going to use y'all already know my my signature body wash I love this stuff y'all know I have eczema prone skin really dry skin so I have to make sure I'm taking care of my moisture barrier um this is probably my favorite body wash of like all time it's unscented but it does have shea butter and glycerin I think in it that helps with your skin barrier making sure that you're keeping everything moisturized throughout the summer i'm gonna put that on my african sponge net which y'all already know this this is the secret like if you're not scrubbing your body with an african sponge net boo boo what are you doing and i also like this body wash because it suds up and lathers very very well and it's not drying to the skin at all so i just make sure i get all over my face well not all over my face who jesus get all over my body with my body scrub and just get everything scrub a dub dub nice and clean and i also like these african sponge nets because i just feel like it's very easy for me to reach my back and make sure i'm scrubbing everything off Next, I'm going to use my Dr. Bronner's Unscented Pure Castile Soap. Um, if you've been on YouTube for a minute and haven't watched other shower routines, I'm pretty sure you have seen this product before. Um, this is like an OG. This is like a safe bet. If you don't know what else to use, use this. Um, Y'all already know I'm sensitive to like certain fragrances and stuff because of my skin. So I do use the unscented one. And what I actually like to do is I like to layer both of these together. Sometimes I even put them on my African sponge net at the same time and just scrub my body. But that's why you still see that the soap is still on me. So I rinse that off and then I go in with I've been loving this Dove body scrub. My baby got me this Dove body scrub. She said it smelled like, I think it smells like Starburst, if I'm being honest. 
but before i do any shaving i really 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 like to go in with a body scrub and i like to just scrub everything away like i literally scrub my skin before i even shave because i really just want to make sure that all the dead skin is gone i'm starting with the clean fresh smooth surface for the next step of my routine which is going in with my razor and making sure that I'm getting all the hair off. And I also like to go in with the body scrub. I also like to go in with my exfoliating gloves. And I actually like double up on the exfoliation. So I put my exfoliating gloves on and I make sure that I get them wet underneath of the water and I scrub the body scrub in. Like I, that's another key to having like really smooth glowy skin is you have to exfoliate. You have to exfoliation and hydration are like key factors into how I keep my skin so glowy and so soft year round really but really in the summertime where we having sundresses on and we showing our legs and all this stuff like honey bunny you want to look smooth you want to look like a goddess you want to look like money okay okay health is wealth baby so I'm going to rinse that all off and next I am going to go in with this shower shaving gel by venus this product also has shea butter and it's really really hydrating and the one thing i did like about this product is the smell was not overbearing at all like literally at all the smell was not overbearing it was a really really smooth consistency i really enjoyed using it so i put that on my legs and i'm just going to shave i'm going to shave off all the hair And now we're back and last part of the shower routine is I'm going to use this new feminine wash that I just picked up from the store. This is the always on um, feminine wash. And I actually really enjoyed this too. This is a new product that they just released. So yeah, that's that. And as y'all can see, I was jamming because my station on Apple Music was, was hitting at that very moment. Um, so I'm going to go in with my Hydrating Balm by PCA Skin. If you know, you know. I've been using this for a while. My all-time favorite skin moisturizer. I feel like it just makes... That stuff is just like... It just does my skin so right every time. Every time. I have literally no complaints about that stuff. It's, it's awesome. Um, so I rub that in...
And then I'm also going to go in with my Zoe Skin Health Under Eye Brightening Serum. I'm going to put that underneath of both of my eyes. If y'all see me talking in a video, I was talking to my honey bunny. She was in the other room and I was actually getting ready to go somewhere. So, you know, we going outside. Um, but yeah, we're going to get that all underneath of our under eyes. Going to make sure we rub that in very well. Normally this under eye serum, I try to use this morning and at night. And on nights where I really, really want my under eyes to be snatched boo boo. I also use my pixie eye patches which that's in my other shower routine video so if you ain't watched that go watch that because i had those patches on in that video and i linked them in the description box so next we're gonna go in with the black girl sunscreen and I'm gonna rub that all in. And I know it looks like I'm being super excessive with the amount of sunscreen I put on, but I make sure to get it all over my neck and all over my face. I have to make sure that this sunscreen covers everything. But like, this is tea though. To be quite frankly honest, I really prefer my unseen sunscreen to this black girl sunscreen. I don't know why, but I'm just, I've been using unseen sunscreen for so long that that's just, that's close to my heart. They made sure I was protected from the sun before black girl sunscreen came on the market, boo-boo, okay? Like, no shade, but shade, but to each his own. And then I'm going to go in my, with my triple repair body lotion by La Roche-Posay. I think that's how you pronounce it. Another product that's a fave from my other shower routine. And I feel like I figured out the sauce, y'all to get the glow you have to use the lotion with the eczema honey on top y'all gonna understand in a minute when i go to put that eczema honey on but she just makes me glow it's like the healthiest glow you will ever see like seriously it's amazing i feel like that's that's my secret for real like that's my secret layering of those two products will have you like sun-kissed boo-boo it will really have you sun-kissed Last but not least, I'm going to go in with my Native deodorant. Y'all already know how I feel about this. I absolutely love, love, love my Native deodorant. Um, She's great. She's awesome. Wouldn't trade her for anything. And that's going to be the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on my Instagram because I really love interacting with you guys up there. And I will see you in the next video.